Welcome friends. In today's video, we are going to see a very frequently asked concept in the gate examination. That is the order and degree of a differential equation. Let us see a very simple differential equation. This is about me. My name is Satya Sau. I have done my B.Tech and M.Tech from IIT Kharagpur. Let us go straight to the topic. So if I see any differential equation, a very basic differential equation, suppose I am writing dy by dx is equal to 5x. So it's a very simple differential equation. In this simple differential equation, yes, y is known as the dependent variable. y is known as what? It is the dependent variable, yes. And what is x? x is the independent variable. x is what? x is the independent variable. Now, when I am writing dy by dx, this is what? This is first order differential equation. dy by dx. When I write double derivative of y with respect to x, this is what? Second order. If I write like this, this is what? Third order, right? Now in a differential equation, there can be a combination of first, second, third, or only second, yes? It can be combination of different order of differential equation. For example, if I say, if I write a equation something like this, yes? We can say that this is a differential equation, yes, but in this differential equation, we have first order also, this is what, first order also, and then we have our second order also, we have our second order also, we have our second order also. Now, what is order of a differential equation? Yes, now this is first order, this is second order, but if I see this whole equation, if I see this whole equation, then what is the order of this? That is decided by the highest one. Yes, that is decided what? The highest one. So I can say here, the order of this differential equation is what? It is 2. It is what? It is 2. So order is decided by what? The highest order. Yes, highest order present in that differential equation. Understood? Very easy. Yes. Let us take this little further, little, little further. Now what is this degree? What is this degree? Degree is the power associated, it is the power associated with the what? With the highest order, with the highest order. It is the power associated with the highest order. What is the meaning of that? You see this differential equation? In the differential equation you can see that here, this is the highest order. And what is the power of this? The power is 1, na. This power is 1, na. Therefore, I can say here, the degree is what? The degree is 1. Let us see some more example. Let us see some more example. Suppose we have a differential equation, something like this. Suppose I am writing double derivative of y with respect to x. Yes. And then writing, you know, 5 by, let us suppose, um, 5 by 7. Yes. And then I'm writing is equal to, so I'm writing this is equal to your y to the power 2. I'm writing like this. I'm writing like this. Now in this, we might think that the order is 2. I might think that the order is 2. And the degree is what? The degree is what? 5 by 7 because the power is 5 by 7. But this is wrong. This is wrong. We should ensure that the differential equation, D, differential equation is such that the dependent variable, such that the dependent variable, dependent variable in this case is what? Y. The dependent variable is free, is free of radicals and fractions radicals and fraction yes so i'll just come this side little bit so you can see <laughs> yes so radicals and fraction should be free of what radicals and fraction what is a fraction here 
I have to make it free from fraction. So what I will do? I will multiply 7 here. 7, 7 get cancelled. This becomes 1 to the power 14. Now the degree is what? The degree is 5. You have to make sure that it is free from what? Radicals or fractions. I will give another example. I will give another example. Suppose I am writing dy by dx to the power 3 by 4 is equal to double derivative of y with respect to x and then suppose to the power I am writing 2. Now we might think that here order is what? Order is 2 only and suppose the power is 2 here for the second derivative so I will write down 2 but that is also wrong because you can see that here dy by dx yes dependent variable y is dependent variable right so y is dependent variable also derivative of dependent variable that is having what a power fraction so this 3 by 4 has to be converted into what non fraction so i'll convert on fractions what i will do i multiply 4 here so what happens here so this becomes what 8 so degree becomes what so degree becomes 8 very simple very simple so to make sure that not only dependent variable y but the derivative of dependent variable means what dy by dx or double derivative of y with respect to x or triple derivative all those becomes what independent of radicals or fraction that is very important that is very important let us solve some more questions and i'll give you one more homework also okay you see i will request you that you pause the video first solve them and then see the solution you can see the first question is very easy yes you can see this is the highest order so order is 2 here and power associated with that is what 1 so degree is 1 very easy now coming to second equation we can see that there is a fraction 5 by 3 so what i will do i will multiply this with 3 so 3 3 get cancelled and this i will make it cube right cube now you can see that the highest order is what 2 only how double derivative this is single derivative double derivative so highest order is 2 only and power associated with that is what? 3. So answer becomes what? 3. Very easy. Very easy. Let us go to the next one. Let us go to the next question. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Here you can see that there is a differential equation given. Yes. Now, here what happens is that the highest derivative is this one. Yes. The highest derivative is this one. And the order will be 2. Now, when I am going to find out degree, you are seeing some fraction here. Yes. And you might think that I have to convert this fraction into a whole number. Right. But one mistake we are doing. What is that mistake? The mistake is that x is an independent variable. What I told about the rule? The rule is that we have to go for what? Dependent variable. And dependent variable is what? Y. And you can see that all the dependent variable all the dependent variable and the derivatives don't have any fraction power yes x is having fraction power but that is fine because x is the independent variable here so in this case order will be 2 degree will be 1 now come to the next question here you can see that the order is what order is 1 only so 2 only how because see the highest derivative is what 2 here so the order is 2 now what about the power here there is problem. What happened? You see here it is 3 by 2. Yes, here it is 3 by 2. Yes, and here we have a derivative term of y which is dependent variable. So, we cannot have this fraction. So, what I will do? I will multiply 2. I will convert this into whole number. So, when I multiply 2, I have to multiply 2 here also. Right? So, the power becomes how much? 2. So, degree is also 2. Now, one homework I am giving all, all of you. Yes? So this is your homework, right? <laughs> so this is your homework. Oh, sorry. This is your homework. So everyone, please see this question and then write down the answer in the comment section. What is the order and degree of this differential equation? Thank you very much. Hope you like the video. See you in some other video. Thank you very much.